so um, I wanted to do a quick video on rivets and grommets and that sort of thing because I know that when I first started using them in my bags it was really overwhelming trying to decide what tools to use so um, I just thought I'd do a short video just to show what tools I use there's actually loads of different options so I'm not going to mention everything I'm sure there's going to be some other options that people prefer um, but this is just the way I've decided to do it after trialing a few different ways so what I first started with was hand tools um, and basically what you get is you get yourself a little hole punch so hopefully you can just about see that it's actually I punched through something white last so you can just see that there so this is what I started with and to, to set a rivet doing it this way you simply get for example um, your strap maybe make sure that you've got some leather or something like that underneath it because you need something to make sure that this doesn't go blunt if this is going straight through to your mat then you're gonna have problems so all you do is you place that upright and you would just hammer it into place to set the rivets and then you'd be using your setting tools so I couldn't decide whether to do this from like overhead view or front view so I'm just going to show you the tools from here and then we'll go to the overhead for you to show you how to use them. So the other tool you get in a handset is this one. Hopefully you can see that it's got like a rounded edge and the rivet sort of fits into there. And what you do with this is you use it with an anvil and that is what you use to set the rivet. So you would have your fabric in between but basically they would go like that. So I'll show you that in a minute. That's a handset and you get these sets that come with the tools you need and the rivets from like Amazon or anywhere like that. And they're pretty cheap. It's a good way to start, but you are going to be hammering a lot. So if you're fitting a lot of rivets, say like 20 rivets to a bag, you've got a hammer to make the holes, hammer to set the rivets. It's going to be a lot of hammering. So those are a great way to start out, but I didn't want to carry on that way. So I decided to get myself a press. Now, you get loads and loads of different brands. Lots of people use cam snaps, I think, or the big, the big green machine, I think is the popular one in the UK. Um, this I actually bought from Wish, so it doesn't have a brand name. Um, but this one has been doing great for me. My husband set it onto this wooden plinth for me, just makes it a little bit easier to use. Now what happens is you can use these for rivets, grommets, all sorts of things. And you just have to get different die sets. So that's what these are called. They're called die sets. So this set, this is for setting rivets. So I won't rivet gone, there we go. This is a 10 millimeter one. So you can see that the rivet sort of fits in there. And it, this is the top piece. So it fits between the two and that crushes them into place. So what you get is you get these different sets. This is a 10 millimeter set. Um, this one, hopefully you can see, is a lot smaller. This one, I think, is a, I think it's a six millimeter set. So you generally find, like, I can set like an eight millimeter to a ten millimeter with my ten, um, but you can never use a smaller one because it will just destroy the rivet. And every die set comes with two pieces. So the first piece is the bigger piece, and that goes into there and just drops in. The second piece screws into here. And then as you pull it down, it just sets it into place for you. So these are rivet dies. And as you can see, you get different sizes. And then you can get grommet dies. So if you want to set grommets, um, I think this is my 10 millimeter size. Yeah, so you can see the grommet fits onto the bottom piece and then the top piece and it, it crushes it into place and fits your grommet. So much easier for grommets, but again, you've got, to, you've got to have different sizes. So I think I've got a 10 millimeter set and a 12 millimeter set, and you can't use them for different sizes. So just make sure that you figure out which grommets you're gonna use the most and then buy the right size for that. So just like the others, that die set just fits straight in. Now, make sure that you check 
that the die set you're buying is suitable for your brand because mine fits cam snap dies but it doesn't fit the ones that are made for the big green machine so what you can do if you're not sure just ask the seller to give you the measurement for this piece where it fits into here and the measurement for the screw as well and then you can check that it fits yours so another option that you've got is cutting plates so i've just got a set of these and these are just basically completely flat Again, that one fits in the bottom there, and this one screws into the top. And what you can do with these is you can cut holes. So it's really, really good for setting grommets. Well, for cutting the holes in preparation for grommets. So I'll put the links for where I bought everything. Um, I actually got these from an Australian um, seller because I could not find any in the UK or anywhere in Europe so I ended up going to Australia and what you get with it is this set of cutting dies that you buy um, there's loads of different shapes so I think some of them are for things like locks and that sort of thing but the ones that I use most of the time are the circular ones so So here's one, and what you do is you put your fabric in. Sorry, <laughs> you put your you put your cut cutting die in, and then you simply chomp down on it. That one typically did not work. Okay, uh, and normally what you do is you just press down on it. And it just cuts the hole like that so this is really nice yeah when when you're doing loads of grommets on a bag you can just cut all the holes out really quickly using this and then switch over to your grommet die and set them all so it's a big time saver so what i'll do now is i'll just change the overhead camera and then i'll show you how i'm actually setting some rivets and things like that because um it's hard to show you everything from this angle the only other tool that I absolutely love is this little fur, which um, you can get from Amazon or something like that. I actually got mine from my local hardware shop. This I use to cut the holes for my rivets. So you just simply stick it in and it just cuts. Yeah, hopefully you can see that little hole there. And then what you can do is pop your rivet straight through there. And then you can just set it. So all these all these rivets I'm using are double cap um, rivets. I'll show you how I set them in a minute. Um, I suppose one other tool that you might want to use is grommet hand tools. So a bit like the rivets, these are loud when you use them. This is my 20 millimeter set. I'm not sure why this is so rusty, um, <laughs> but. In order to use this for 20 millimeter grommets, I would hammer that through my fabric, but it's a lot of work and I struggle really to get to get a nice finish, which is why I ended up buying those cutting plates instead. Um, but normally what you can do, you can hammer through a nice big hole. And then you have these two tools for fitting your grommets. And what happens is you can put that on there. So this is an anvil. You can put it on the anvil and then you put your fabric, you know, you put it on your fabric, put this on the other side and you set it like this. So I'll show you this from the overhead, but I think it's just good to see it from two different directions. And what happens with these grommets is it crushes it into place and holds it in place on both sides. So yeah, I'll show you on the overhead so hopefully you can see it more clearly. The hand tools are good if you don't have a press, but they're a lot more work and your neighbours aren't going to love you quite so much when you're banging around, um, especially if you're crafting at night. But they're a good solution if you don't have a press. So um, yeah, so let's change the camera view and I'll show you a few more bits. 
Okay, we're going to start with setting some rivets. So um, I've got um, part of an old handle that was from a project that just didn't work out. This is four layers of cork. So normally what you would do, I suppose, is you'd fold the end of the strap over like this. So we'll just start with the punching tool. This is the one that I find easiest, but you do have to squeeze it quite hard. So if you've got um, difficulty with your hands, then you might prefer to get a little cutting die. Um, I think you can get ones that are two millimeters that are designed just for rivets, but I don't have one of those myself. So I always use the smallest setting because you can see this um, turns around and it's got different sizes on it. So make sure that you've got the smallest setting when you're doing a rivet. Now what I'm going to do is just punch through there. Now you can see that did not go all the way through. So normally what's good is if you've got it like clipped in place, then you can make sure that you clip through the same bit again. There we go, that's gone through. Now when it comes to rivets, you can see I've got quite a selection of collars. I've also got different lengths. So this is the medium ones from Emmeline, which um, you can get from So Hot in the UK or just straight from Emmeline in Canada. These have an eight millimeter post. So these are good medium rivets and they just about fit in there. So then what I would do is I'd use my press and this is where the overhead camera is not great. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure it's sit nice and snugly into this little hole here. And as I bring down the top one, I just pause and I make sure that it's sat nice and snug in there before I press down. Now, what I have noticed is with Emmeline, I never have any problems with my rivets. Um, some of the cheaper ones I've tried, they just set badly and then I have to rip them out, which is a nightmare because you kind of try not to ruin your fabric. Um, but Emmeline, yeah, maybe they're a bit more expensive, but I have found that I have, I never have any trouble, so it's worth it for me. Now these are large ones. I can't remember the exact size of these posts, but if you have a look, you can see the difference in size. These are great when you've got loads and loads of layers to go through. So you get different sizes. There's also some really small ones. Not sure I'm going to get to find post side of one in here but there are some really tiny ones as well so you get all different sizes now these double cap rivets they they come with the post side and then they come with this cap side so that's effectively what you're doing when you put them through your fabrics okay so that's the easiest way i think for setting rivets there is also of course the hand tool option so i'll just show you that now when you're doing this make sure that you've got some scrap something underneath this is just a piece of leather i have lying around which i use for this sort of thing and you want to make sure that this is standing upright it's not sort of going to the side and then you need to give it a good hit with a hammer Okay, so same as before, pop that through, pop a cap on the other side, and then what you do is you'd use your anvil and you put that underneath. Not 100% sure that's the right size anvil, I think that one's too small, but I've put that in there now. Yep, yeah, I'm going to have to just go with it. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> that one. No, I think it is still too small. What you should have is different sizes on different sides but I think this one's too small but we're going to go with it anyway then you've got your setting tool so it's got this nice curved section just here place that on top 
It was definitely not the right size, but you'll get the idea. And there you go, that's, that's set into place. Now, I never feel like they're quite as secure when I do them by hand, but you know, if you, if you don't have a press, then that is the best alternative. Okay, so another tool I've got for my rivets, which I really love, is this. Again, I got this from So Hot um, in the UK, but it's made by Piera. Um, I think maybe it's American or Canadian. And what it does is just helps you mark your rivets. So this is the one inch strap. And what you do is you just mark the center of each hole where you want a rivet. And it makes sure that they're straight because um, it really doesn't look good when your rivets are kind of like slightly off. It's really noticeable. So I find this really helpful. Um, and then it's got one inch double rivet, one and a half inch strap with a single, one and a half inch strap with a double. So I really, really find this quite helpful. I also find that um, when I've got hardware on the strap, say I've got like a rectangle ring or something, I can kind of push this right up against it and then I can measure the top one. And when I place that rivet, it always seems to be the perfect place for my press to get into. If I'm any closer to the hardware, then I can't press it. Um, and any further away than my hardware kind of wiggles. So I just find that this is really handy for that. So the next thing I'll show is um, using the cutting dies, which I use for grommets. I'm going to try and use them at some point also for um, twist locks, but I haven't got there yet. So this top one, you just screw into place. So you can see they're both flat. I think they're called brass plates. So I've got my 10 millimeter hole, which has got the remnants of the last thing I cut. Um, again, I like to put a piece of leather or something in here just to try and protect the plate. Um, otherwise you just blunt things if you use them against a hard surface and they don't go through as well either. So for this one, we'll just use this piece of cork again. Um, these work really well with vinyl, leather and cork. So whatever you're using. Now I place that in there. I place it with the cutting edge down. And when you bring it down, just make sure it's nice and secure before you press. They get perfectly round hole. So normally I wouldn't be putting a hole through stitches, but this is just an example to show how I use these. Uh, now I would get my grommets. So your grommets come in two pieces, the main front piece and the back piece. And you, you would push this through the front. So let's say this is the front of the bag. This is what you want on the front. And what you should have on the back, although this strap is a little bit thicker than what you'd normally use for this size grommet, you should have it just poking through a bit. This strap is a bad example. Okay, but what you would do is put that on the back. So what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna use this piece of vinyl instead because that's too many layers. So I'll just cut through this piece of vinyl. Okay, so you put your grommet through and just like that, you can see it popping through the back. Then you get this flat back piece and you put that on there. And what the press is gonna do is it's gonna crush this into place. So first of all, I will put my grommet die set in. Okay, and then what I do is I put this face down. And 
and hopefully you can see that with it face down this is the so this is the back flat piece of the grommet and this should be sticking up through your grommet and as you bring it down it's going to crush that into place so that's the front and that's the back so that's where it's been crushed into place now if you're having problems with your grommets like breaking or anything like that what's most likely happening is that you've got the wrong size grommets or the wrong size um die set because more than once i've bought say 10 millimeter grommets and when they've arrived they're actually 11 millimeter um, and i've also bought die sets that aren't what they're advertised so that has always seemed to be my problem um of course if you're using like cheap grommets as well you might have this similar sort of problem but that you can see is a lot simpler than um, using hand tools if you're if you're setting like 10 or 15 of these on one bag. So I think that's pretty much everything. I'll leave um, in the video description like links to where I bought all of the bits and pieces from. I know most people prefer to buy all of their stuff from one place. So for example, cam snaps in the USA. Um, there's dreamy bag hardware that sell them in Australia um, or the trimming shop in the UK, I think are quite popular. Um, for me, because I bought my press from wish.com, I have ended up buying bits and pieces from loads of different places, but just making sure that the dies fit my machine. Um, but it's probably much simpler if you to buy them from one, one person. So I'd recommend figuring out which grommets and which size rivets you're gonna be using the most and getting the pieces for those. Um, yeah, and just, just give them a go. But if you've got any questions, just let me know in the comments and um, hopefully this video has been useful.